do run through walls for Kelly Harper. And remember, she did not get to play at the SEC tournament last year. She was out with that elbow injury. See if she's going to make up for lost time. Orson wins the tip, and Jordan Walker controls it. Kentucky starting out in a man to man defense. Caroline Strickland at the elbow trying to go inside to Rakia Jackson. She's got other projected top 10 pick in the WNBA draft coming up. What Tennessee's going to be able to do with their height advantage the, first time, the last time these two teams met, Tennessee had 50 points in the paint. It was on Sunday. So this is the last opponent Tennessee has faced. They're facing Kentucky in back-to-back -back games. Tennessee lineup, and we've seen a rotating lineup for Tennessee over the season. They had their largest roster in program history, but they had some injuries too. They lost to Murray Key, they lost Marcus Suarez, so they've had different players in different roles, but settle in this lineup. Well, it was really tough, I think, at the beginning of the year with Kelly Harper with so many players trying to get her rotations together. Uh, and she has said that as of late, she's really simplified, and that's made the consistency a lot better for the Lady Vols. And that really benefits this team. Jordan Walker trying to drive in on Maddie Shear. Wouldn't try that too many times. She had a career high six blocks yesterday. Shear is a big guard. Here's Rakia into the double team. Addie Eddie Eddie was there to meet her. You gotta look for that lob. Bob Benton's holding the jersey. I saw that one. She's got to be well rested today. You got to yep. think that. She's got to play smart. She cannot get herself into foul trouble. Horsa with the little has he? Look at the length. You've got Rakia Jackson guarding Jada Walker. Want to take away any easy looks for the guard. And Rakia Jackson with that length, she still has the agility, ability to spin away from the basket. The agility, ability. You like that? I right? loved it. There's some agility, ability. Six points for Tennessee, all of them coming in the paint, and Kyra Elsey calls timeout. And Kentucky started their run on Wednesday. Tennessee, this is their first game of the tournament. Anaya Russell has checked in for Kentucky. She came in in the second half, gave them 12 points. Maddie Shear. Yeah. yeah. She's got it. <laughs> Same thing. Yeah. But she has really picked up her score. And when she first came to Kentucky from Oregon, she was a distributor. And through the second half of the season, it's been a total turnaround with her increased score. Well, it's interesting, too, because Kyra shared with us, yeah, we came into the season, she spent all summer shooting, Maddie Shear did, knowing that we need her to score, and then got around to Christmas time, and, and Maddie was feeling the pressure a little bit. So Kyra told her, look, we don't need you to score. I want you to focus on your defense, your rebounding. Guess what? The scoring came a long way. Yeah, yeah, she's pressed. Oh, oh, Horston! Horston got up on that one. She got up on that rebound, too. Well, you know, when she was out, not able to play in the SEC tournament last year, she worked on a lot of things. She increased her vertical. Six inches. Oh, Tess Darby! That's her specialty. Last five games, Tess Darby shooting 52% from three. Jordan Horston, spring their stuff. Look, when you get the weight room, when you're injured, you can work on your legs. When your arm is messed up, seven inches increased her vertical. That's a 6-2 guard who can rebound, and then she's got great court vision, can distribute as well. That's why she's going to be a high WNBA draft pick. the sixth pick in the WNBA draft. That's two of them right there. Rakia Jackson's the other one. She'll go high in the draft as well. She is that coveted stretch four position that can swing from the three and, and the four. It's been fun to watch those two evolve and learn how to play with each other this season. It's been, yeah, fun watching both of them on the floor at the yeah. same time. That was the first foul whistled against Rakia Jackson. Jackie Powell now in the game. They skip it over to Darby. You can't leave her alone. That was a great 
Right down with Kentucky came out. Looked like a one three. Crossover past Darby. Jada Walker, a career high 24 points yesterday. It's going to be Kentucky basketball. Rod and Betty. Still looking for her first points now, 0 for 2. Threw it away. She was trying to get it to Sarah Puckett. Maddie Shield top of the key. Swish. So I was looking right at her and looked the wrong way. We talked about another one. I'm looking right at her. I feel good. I wasn't the only one that no, got a trick. She sold all of us. Get the walker. Look, and Brooklyn defense yesterday it was really big too. She tied, tied her career high in steals. Well, it's the tournament time, you know, and, and if you like defense, this is the time to step it up and really get engaged. I mean, we've seen so many great defensive plays here. There's Just keep adding on, exactly. Oh, she made a little TikTok video <laughs> down at the end. <laughs> she was fouled by Sarah Puckett. How cool are these players these days? They, like, instantly know how to react and look at the camera. We would have been so... I, I would have been awkward. I don't, you probably would have been cool with Carolyn, but I just... I look at them and I'm so... Admire the way they handle it. Look, that was always about a show now. <laughs> that has to change. <laughs> Look, Kentucky hanging around. Yeah, Tennessee three turnovers in its last four possessions. Rolls around and drops for Julian Hollingshed. Julian Hollingshed really came on the scene when Tennessee played Connecticut. She was a big presence inside. And I think proving... She can handle the physicality, has really helped her game to continue to grow. Yeah, Kelly Harper told us that was a, a game for her that really took her to the next level. And she's had to step up, too, because they lost to Marie Key, who was critical in the post for them. Marie Key was more, is more of a back-to-the-basket player. And she's got tremendous length, a good target to post up inside. She can play both inside and out. Tamari the key, they discovered one pop cuts in her line as she lost the parents game December 4th. You can be fine, which is the best news. Absolutely. Ooh. It bounced to Franklin. for the offensive foul. That's a good call. So Robin Benton goes out. Jada Walker checks back in. It's big for Tennessee to get Kentucky's leading score on the bench with two fouls. This match. She got switched off on to Jada Walker. Not too much you can do about that. First and four points, two assists. Three blocks. Jada Walker lost it. Jordan Walker out with it. Racing to the other end with a shot fake to let the defense go by. Veteran move. No, it was. That was a headsy play by Jordan Walker. She had to know the pressure was coming. Definitely a headsy player earning her NBA, getting her second Masters right now. Blair Green off to Maddie Shear. Ten seconds now for Kentucky. Jenkins it bounces out, trying to get her own rebound. Tennessee has it. Back to Kentucky and Petty. Bucket at the buzzer for Kentucky. That ends a 10-0 run. 
by Tennessee. But I wonder if part of the reaching is they've already played two tough games and could fatigue be a factor? Yeah, when you're laser tag, you just want to reach. Going stripping under the basket, trying to get it over to Tess Derby. And a travel. <laughs> Seconds. Take it to the step back. <laughs> Going in the paint. Again, they've got two one. And Jenkins travel. For Kentucky, plus four possessions. They've got only two during that time. They're feeding Hurston. That's Darby. Straight turnovers now up ahead to Horston. Jordy's got it. Kentucky hasn't scored in almost four minutes. Kentucky with some foul trouble. Robin Benton with two. Asia Petty with two. Both on the bench for the Cats. Gene comes out to Maddie Shear. Four seconds. The defense for Tennessee has been really good. Transition. Wow. Pretty good too. For three, that ends a six minute and 20 second scoring drive. Seven seconds, Hollingshed looking inside to Jackson. Hollingshed will take the three. Well, Maddie Shear just hit one, they need to find her again. Blair Green got open. She can do it too. Kelly Harper calling timeout. Tennessee scored 27 points in the first quarter, just nine points here, but only eight points for Kentucky in the second quarter. See another stop for Kentucky. Just gotta score that. Petty. Kentucky able to score before Tennessee can get their defense set. Also with two fouls for Kentucky. And that's a foul on Jasmine Franklin of Tennessee. We just wonder now, will Kentucky come down, try to score quick? Go two for one. Using a lot of clock. Jada Walker rejecting the screen. Blair Green back to Walker. Jada Walker shooting over Jordan Walker. Oh, wow. 11 0 run for Kentucky. Tess Darby in the corner. First time she's missed a three tonight. Nakia Jackson gets fouled underneath the basket. It's five players for Kentucky with two fouls. Field goal's going to end a. Three minute and 45 second scoring drought for Tennessee. But I felt like Tennessee shot a little early in the shot clock because now Kentucky's going to get another possession. Keep an eye, Blair Green in the corner. There's Blair Green. Top of the key, Rakia Jackson got a piece of that. Kentucky is going to end the half on an 11 to 2 run. Jackson was a problem for Kentucky to keep up with. Those five assists, that puts Jordan Horston over the 100 assist mark for the season. So now Tennessee has three players with 100 assists on the year. The first trio at Tennessee to have that since the 05 06 season. you have to say coming out of the locker room? Tune with what Coach Greg was talking about was 
you know, getting back in transition defense, but mostly it was about the offensive possessions that they've had. Five players for Kentucky that picked up 2,000 in the first half. Seven seconds here. Maddie Shear for three. Tennessee starting strong, 10 for 17. Second quarter, though, 4 for 17. Offense cooled off a little bit. Jalen Strickland at the elbow, it rolls out. And that's going to be Kentucky basketball. Tennessee also didn't have Jordan Horston in that tournament last year. She was out with a fractured, dislocated elbow. There's Benton. Kentucky can make this ball game, this quarterfinal, very interesting. First and driving to the SEC logo. Seven seconds for Robin Benton to cook. Addie Aye going over Stripling. Gets it to go in. Addie Aye brings that physicality inside. She also will rebound for Kentucky. First and nice move. She's in the double figures now, 10 points. Walker in the corner. This is against Maddie Shear, and it is. That's her third foul. When she got hurt last year. She was leading the team in points, rebounds, and assists. That's just what Jordan Horston does. And steals, I think. Talked about the defense that Jordan Horston played, and Renaya said that made her want to play harder on the defensive end. Oh, that was pretty. Oh, Jordy! Knocked down, knocked the shot down anyway. How do kids hex and get that over to Strickland? It's not interesting. Tennessee has had, they had Rakia Jackson of Jada Walker. Mia Jackson gets physical on the block. Well, you see what she does is she, as she attacks in, she buries the defense underneath the rim. Robin Benton for two. Kentucky's going to need more of that. A three fouls, nine points to her stat line. Hit a thousand career points this season. Originally uh, went to Auburn for two seasons before coming to Kentucky. She really did everything. She could shoot the three, she could handle the point. Uh, when Kentucky needed a bucket, Ryan Howard was the go-to. And now Robin Benton has had to do more of that, along with Maddie Shear, Blair Green, and scoring points. It's kind of been a collective effort. Petty. And Kyra Elsie is going to call timeout. And Kyra Elsie is seven and one in her career as a head coach of the SEC tournament. She has won six straight SEC tournament games. But this is her favorite season, conference tournament season, because that's when the Wildcats they start performing very well this time of year. 83 plus points in four of their last five games. 45 percent in SEC play. And her rotations, combinations, she understands what works well and what groups play well together. Oh, that was nice. Oh, she couldn't finish it toward Horseshoe. Maddie Shear's going to take it. Horseshoe had a clear pass to the basket. Maddie Shear overran it, the horse just went all the way to the hoop. And I Russell is fouled. That's my third horse in her second. <laughs> Just no 
noticed is the gap was kind of close. Rebounding wise, not anymore. Tennessee is out re rebounding Kentucky 31 to 16. Kentucky confidence. Akia Jackson at the buzzer. Smooth. Tennessee in a huddle. A few players started talking, and then it just looked like they were all collecting their breath and their focus for this last push in the last fourth quarter. Well, Tennessee's only played one game. Kentucky has played two. And I believe it was Drea Carter said, Tyra Elsie's in there telling her team, you're not tired. That even let you think about it. That's not an excuse. And we have seen Kentucky prove that they can play back, they can get from game to game in the SEC tournament and fatigue not be a factor. So we had two officials go to whistle for a foul, and now they're discussing who it was on. They're going to call on Jordan Walker for second. I didn't think that Agent Pe Petty moved. I think Walker was trying to get over the screen, but Petty didn't move, so I think it was a foul on the defense. Four seconds. Jada Walker. Too much height inside for Tennessee. Tennessee needs a bucket right now. It'll be an opportunity. Jordan Horston post up. Robin Bitten. Yeah, three double figure scorers on the floor right now for Tennessee. Horston, Jackson, and Tess Darby. All double figures in this game. Rakia, that's 20. Seven straight games with 20 points. by a lady ball in the past 20 seasons. You know who she tagged? Tell me. Candace Parker. 2007. Benton for three. Uh-oh, is it prime time? Is it show time? Is it Benton time? That it was intentional. As she went by, it was almost like her hand got caught in her ponytail mouth. She gave an extra touch. No, I, I don't I don't know. I. Yeah. I mean, I, I think it is the right call by the official. Or pull, you know, anything. Well, Kentucky's already been through this week, and it, to be this close to a Tennessee team right now at this moment of the game, you don't want to get yourself into trouble like that. They certainly need a petty, and it's just kind of mind blowing that that even happened. It didn't look dirty, but it did certainly look intentional to me. Yeah, and the timing is bad. We were on a run. And Kentucky with zero second chance points tonight. And 
Lynn Major Petty know. I think she has to leave the bench area now because it was a disqualifying foul. So she'll head back to the locker room. My understanding what we learned from Wednesday was that only if you're disqualified for fighting would you not be eligible for the next game. So I do believe we we'll have to double check this with the conference. Anaya Russell driving off the window. Now, Anaya Russell likes her some 4-4. Yeah, Anaya Russell didn't play in the first half yesterday for Kentucky. Came in in the second half because of some foul trouble and had a game. You also lose the tough defender that Maddie Shear is. Well, tough defender, also decision maker on the floor. Brown Ben with the block of Jordan Worsen. <laughs> Russell, you were the other. Didn't look right on line from where we're sitting. It looked really good. Rakia Jackson back the other way. Five seconds. Benton in the paint. Swish. Kentucky will not go away. Robin Benton's got 14 now. 11 of those coming here in the second half. Nolan Strickland, that one looks good too. You just wonder how long Kyra Elsie keeps Maddie Shear on the bench. Walker with a steal. Over to Jasmine Powell short. Rakia Jackson is there to help and she's going to the free throw line. So Kyra Elsie's got to make some decisions. Do you leave Benton in? Maddie Shear has four, too. Here comes Shear to check in. Under five minutes to go, only one of these teams can move on to the semifinal to face LSU tomorrow. Asia Petty down there, another body inside for Kentucky. You're really missing Asia Petty. That was a crucial mistake. Hey, if you're just joining us, Asia Petty was called for a disqualifying foul after 28 points, 29 points. Uh, early in the season against Kentucky, she had given them 21 points. He cannot relax. Kentucky has shown. They aren't over. Oh, till it's over. How about to Jordan Horston with the swat pushing the other way? Tess Darby back to Horston. It will stay with Tennessee. Last touch by Kentucky. Kelly Harper has played a full game on the sideline. I've seen her down in defensive stance quite a few times. I'm pretty sure that happens every game with Kelly Harper, <laughs> right? Kelly <laughs> Harper shed 10 seconds and she's fouled. No, she traveled. Newton, Shear, and Walter got to get going. She tries to. Dunn, little bank shot. 16 now. Four minutes to go. Yeah, she went to the bench in foul trouble against Alabama in that second half. And it was a defense, too. They kept her on the floor. She was diving for loose balls, blocking shots. Yeah. Well, because their resume in the top teams that they have played this season their tough schedule toughest number one toughest schedule in the country of rakia jackson there it is she's got 30 points tonight and a chance for more we'll take a seat had a great game on wednesday they're gonna have to go really five guards blair green yes she was played some four but she's really a guard 
pop right back in this. The only way you can guard Rakia Jackson is you got to foul her because she's so so quick you can't catch her. She went 13 of 13 from the free throw line against Mississippi State. Blair Green with the three. Tennessee has not had a field goal in three and a half minutes. There it is. Jordan Horston. 19 now. Tech has got to move the ball quick. It can't be a whole lot of trying to go one on one unless you're going to the rim. Sophia oh, Jackson Rick reaching in. Uh, reaching in. Yeah. Gotcha. Got her on the elbow. Benton gets one. She's got 17 points now. Now Kentucky bringing full court pressure. Try to got to get some traps. Try to got to force some turnovers, and they do. Anaya Russell. Powell comes out with it, and here comes the trap from Kentucky. Flashing back to the 40 minutes of dread Kentucky used to be known for that press the whole game. You gotta find out how much gas they got left in the tank, though. That takes a lot out of you. Oh, they let Horston drive to the basket. 21 now. She has 21. Rakia Jackson has 32. Maddie Shear! Count it! Points for Maddie Shear tonight. Make it 11 with the three point play. That was the fourth foul, by the way, on Jordan Walker of Tennessee. Well, what a jump by the Wildcats. Again, another turnover forced. Jasmine Powell came up behind Maddie Shear and took it. First point for Jasmine Powell today. That's key for Kentucky or for Tennessee. You're talking about free throw shoot. They were shooting a little over 69 points, 69 percent from the free throw line. Jordan Horst, by the way, seven blocks tonight, a career high. Season had nine blocks for Tennessee. Oh, that's a turnover. That's over and back. You got to go get the first available shot you can get. Benton will take it. Got it. Don't let them get it in if you can help it. Rakia Jackson taking two more points. She's up to 34. Benton a deep three. And Maddie Shear fouls Jasmine Powell. That's going to be five on Shear. If it goes in or rebound, timeout and advance it. Tennessee has one timeout left. Ben trying to hit. Jordan Walker's going to come out with it. I'm sorry, she's got 12 yeah, points. Jordan Walker's got 12 points. She's got 12 points. She's two for three from the three point line. And there is no quick in this young woman. Robert Benton puts up another shot. Jordan Horston has the rebound. She's going to play keep away. Tennessee moving to Saturday at the SEC tournament. A semifinal matchup with LSU on deck for the Lady Balls.